In the 2011 federal election, there were candidates who simply put their name on the ballot and won. Many of them were young and inexperienced. One candidate even spent time in Las Vegas instead of being in her riding. They were riding the orange wave. Now those same people are trying to get re-elected. And as Michael Couture reports, they're having to campaign for the first time. Hey, bonjour. Je m'appelle Lauren Liu et je suis votre candidate NPD. Ça va? Meet Lauren Liu and Matthew Dubé. Don't recognize them? Well, that's okay. Some of their constituents don't either, even though their fresh faces have represented them for the last four years in Ottawa. What I know of him is what I uh, read in the newspaper. In 2011, Dubé was a no-hoper candidate who, against all odds, won his riding. Now, at 27, he's the incumbent seeking re-election and he's doing things differently. For example, he's actually campaigning, something he didn't do in 2011. Heck, back then, he didn't even have signs. And having signs up, which I didn't have last time, things like that, there's even more recognition than I already went along with being an MP for You had years. no signs up in the last no, campaign? I mean, lack of resources, right? It was a very modest local campaign. <laughs> <laughs> so, to say the least, yes. To say the least. Lauren Liu was equally unprepared in the last election. She too didn't have any signs or even a campaign office in 2011. Now at 20, she became the youngest woman ever elected to the House of Commons. And she did it without even setting a foot in the riding. Now with one foot in front of the other, she's trying to prove to people here she deserves to serve them again. I tabled three private members' bills and one motion. Uh, in 2012, my private members' bill on the guaranteed income supplement actually uh, was included in the budget bill in 2012. Nice. Now, Lou and Dubé made up half of the McGill Four. Four students who put their names on the ballot so the NDP could have candidates in every riding. None of them expected to win. Keenly aware, their road to Ottawa was paved by Jack Layton. They have no problem embracing it. That's why the best compliment I get at the door is last time I voted for Jack, this time I'm voting for you. Really? Yeah, that's the, and it, yeah, I hear that a lot, and it's the greatest compliment anyone can ever pay me. And with each handshake or door knock, they hope to secure another vote and prove to the political class they deserve to be in Ottawa again. Mike LeCouture, Global News.